Hello and welcome back to the training. So in this video, what I'd like to walk you through is a way that you can save budget, time, and effort. So one of the practices that I will seldomly do is utilizing lists from sources such as Fiverr. So let's take, for instance, this particular seller. I don't recommend this seller. I don't recommend any seller. You have to test them out. But with that being said, if you buy a link list for $1 million or one, 1 million links for five doll hairs, all right, you have a million links that are verified. Now there's inside the tool, you're going to see, um, GSA gives you recommendations for lists, right? It, it broadcasts down the bottom here. See how this comes up. It keeps changing a lot of those services. It'll show up as link lists. One of the ones that they actually promote is this service here. It's called SER Verified Lists, which in the past, and if you check my section, I give the list. It's been the same list for years. They never update it. In any case, I, I give it to you guys included in the training. But with that being said, um, instead of spending $37 a month, you can always come in here and get a fresh list for five doll hairs. Now, with that said, you need to be able to extract or take those text links and turn those into a .sl file because sl is the only format uh, that GSA will accept. So with that being said, I took the liberty to go ahead and purchase a link package. Now, I've had to take a, a lot of time in order to get it into a text document. It can be rather time consuming with larger lists. But once you have your text document from the link lists that is provided from, say, a fiber seller or a legit seller, what you might want to do in order to test quality and also build out a new list will be the process that I'm going to show you now. So we took our list of, say, 500,000 links. We put it into a text document. We're going to go ahead and save that to our desktop here. Okay, so downloads, and we're just going to name this the link test uh, file, okay, dot txt. I guess I don't need to put that in there. And we'll click save, all right? So now we've gone ahead and saved that to the desktop. Now, once we've saved that to the desktop, the next step is we have to get that into the system and export it into a .sl file so GSA can read it. So let me go ahead and walk you through that process. So we bought the list, put it into text, now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to options in the top uh, in the top row here, the top tabs. You'll click on options. Once you're on options, what I like to use is the failed section. So see failed here? It's one, two, three, the fourth one down. You will open this folder up. All right, this is the failed. You'll come where uh, the link test file is. What we'll do is we will copy it, come back into here, open folder and paste. All right. So now that link list is inside of the fail folder. Now what you will need to do is we want to be able to get those into a format that GSA can read. So in order to do that, it's quite ridiculous, I know, but in order to do that, you're going to click this button, turn it on. What you're going to do is click tools, and then you're going to come down to export site list and export the failed. Okay. What it's going to do is it's going to take those text files and export it into a format that GSA can read. All right. So this is going to be the fiber list because now we want to check it. So what we're going to do is you're going to get rid of the star that's here and you're going to put fiber, fiber links test. Okay. Or whatever you want. So then we're going to go ahead and click save. Okay. That's been saved successfully. Excellent. And then what we want to do now is now that we've in exported the text, and also, or imported the text, exported the .sl. Now we want to see out of the list that we bought for $5, right? Because that's dirt cheap. How could they possibly do that? We want to actually just cherry pick out the best links. So let me walk you through that process now. So in order to do this, the next step is this. All right, so we have that inside of there. What we want to do is we want to open back up this folder. We want to get rid of this particular folder folder, delete the text. Okay. And what we want to do is come back over here. We want to get the .sl file. We're going to copy that. Okay. 
we're going to come in here to failed. We're going to open up the fail folder and we're going to paste in the .sl. So this is the site list folder. This is the best format. It's the easiest. Okay. Now, now that we've done that, you can put that inside of there. We'll click OK. And then we need to come into our test campaign. And let me walk you through the process to sort and figure out if this is going to be a good, uh, a good list. All right. Or pick out the best links. All right. So what you'll want to do is come into your campaign. All right. We're going to go to modify project because you probably already have it set up. Click on edit. Okay. Once inside of here, this is a new window, like the tool within the tool. You're going to click on uh, options. Once inside of options, we need to take a look here. Uh, how to submit and verify, how to target URLs, uh, schedule posting. Okay, here we go. Filter URLs. Okay. So in the third section down, it's called filter URLs. As you can see here, let me make it larger just in case you can't see it. It's called filter URLs. So skip sites with more than, it's up to you. You know, Moz determines a site with more external links as being spammy. So you can do 100. I usually do 100. But in this case, if it's a fiber list, maybe we only want to do 50 because I'm sure they've sold this a lot of times. The next step is skip sites with a PR below, you know, what do you determine to be um, high quality? Okay, like what... What do you think? So for, for me, uh, I would assume that anything above a two or maybe even a three is going to be good. Six is the best. All right. So you make your determination what you think is quality. For this particular test, we're going to do a three and with a PR above. Okay. So skip sites with that. Um, so, or you could do it the other way, a PR above three. All right. So now the next thing is going to be uh, let me just double check these listings here. Try to skip uh, creating no follow links, avoid posting to subdomain sites. So these are more ways to get a higher quality link. Everything that's in here for filtering is a way to get a better and better and better and better link. Okay. So you can make your decisions based inside of here. But what we're going to do is let me just double check here. Avoid posting on sites with IP. Um, keywords must be present. So this is a big one. Like if you're doing this for say clients or like your powering up a first tier, you want to make sure that the actual keywords in the title are on the page. But we're not going to get into that. Let's just sort this list. So now that that's done, uh, we've got that taken care of. We're going to click OK. OK. We're going to come up here to the right click. Um, and what we want to do is we want to set the status. So import um, import target URLs. Okay, so now that we're importing the target URLs, we want to import uh, from site lists. Okay, so import target URLs from site lists. Okay, that's the SL file site list. So we're going to click on that. And then remember, we put it inside a failed. So you'll uncheck these and just click fail and then click OK. And then now to do the sorting or the bidding, whatever actually sticks would be considered a fairly good uh, URL. So let's go ahead and fire this up and see uh, what happens. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click this. It's active. We're going to click start and let's see what uh, see what rocks. Okay, so loading. Okay, it's clicking here. It's going. It is definitely going. Okay, let's just double check here. So nine submitted. Um. It's working. It's working slow though, which is kind of interesting. Let's go see why. Um, 250. Oh, uh, there we go. Starting to run a little faster. Um, submission public. Okay, captcha's good. That's good. Oh, I don't have capture breaker on, so that could be an issue. Um, no, nope, everything looks pretty good to me. I think we're running pretty good here. Let's just do one more check. Oh, it looks like we got one so far. That And, and again, remember, we're filtering by quality. So, so far out of this 500,000, we've only built one good one um, and verified one. So two links so far. One, two. Yep, as you can see over here. All right, so this is how you would sort the list, how you would import the list, create the list. But we'll cover this more in a in a in another module. But this is a bonus. I wanted to go ahead and share with you how you can go and get or create higher quality lists for cheaper. All right, so I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'll see you then.